an empties video. This is an empties video. I am Caitlin. I'm Danielle. And we're our time of the month. Sure are. This was not planned. We just have the same taste. What else do you wear to a bluegrass concert? A beautiful linen-y white shirt. Right, exactly. I feel great. Mine is from Loft. Mine is from Target. Target! I'm wearing a fucking scrunchie, which I, I'm disturbed by the amount of times I've managed to incorporate into my outfit All since I bought it. I love it. I'm I like golfing in it. <laughs> I'm golfing. Um, you could be a farmer in those clothes. Anyway, that is from Poppy and Sell. It's a door, but I love it. I want more colors. My hat is from Amazon. We'll link it below. I've talked about it before. My earrings are from Poppy and Stella. And my bracelets are, you look like a, one of a you look like a little festa hoe. I am. I'm going to wear them until they fall off. We're going like, to a bluegrass festival and I went last night, so I can't take these off. I went on a date with Mr. Motts. So if you are unfamiliar with that saga, we'll catch up. Go on the blog, read the interview with him. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do empties. We're trash, trashy bitches. Anyway. Okay. So. You would think we've had a drink, we have not. But we're gonna start. Yep, we're, so we both have coffees. I actually just finished, fittingly for an empties video, this wild kombucha is their elderberry flavor. So good, so good. I wanna put it out there, Loved it. That, and I've said this before, wild is my favorite kombucha brand. I agree, I never had it until recently, and now, so yes. Good. So good. So good. And we're going to see them today. I know. I can't wait. Um, so Dreyfus Ashby & Co. has sent us wine in the past. They reached back out to us this week, uh, specifically Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Thank you so much. And she was like, ladies, it's rosé season. Would you like me to send you a bottle of rosé? And, and we, we said, went, Kelly. Kelly, duh. Of course we would. Kelly, send us the case. <laughs> so um, Danielle, queen of the French language, tell us what this wine is this is a 2018 campuge tradition rosé from the rhone valley in france okay now the way that i would say it it is a 2018 campuge tradition rose, rose <laughs> from the rahoni valley in france this is what it looks like it's a beautiful bottle of 2018 rosé. It's 30% uh, Grenache Noir and 70% Syrah. It's a, about a $20 price point, or $18, I think she said. So it says it pairs well with summer Oh, meals. $11, you guys! $11! Oh, this is a budget wine! Mike's gonna hate us today. Wow. You know we like that, because you know you just pound rosé. You don't want to spend a lot of money on it. Right. They give us pairings. Honestly, we're just drinking it by itself. Honestly, I think this is intended for like a picnic or an outdoor activity because it is a twist off. Hell yeah. Oh. Which also, for those people that are eco-conscious, is better for the environment than corks. <sighs> We're just doing our part. We're also- There is lipstick all over this glass already. <laughs> also, uh, for today, we're using the flamingo glasses. Mine yes. doesn't really have flamingos on it anymore because dipshit ran them through the dishwasher. <laughs> not me. No, not you. Our husband. Yeah. Okay, cheers. Oh, cheers. Did you forget? That is a full flavored rosé. I like it. Not the biggest rosé fan, but I like this. Very berry-ish. Mm -hmm. Raspberry strawberry. No, I agree. Mmm. Refreshing. Which is what you want in a rosé. Oh, I agree. I like this. I can mm. drink it. See, that's the thing. So rosés aren't my favorite wine, mm. but I can drink so much rosé. I thought you loved rosé. I can drink a lot of it. So that's why I like it. Well, drink this Campuget tradition. Campuget! Rose. So, thank you again. This is great. I love, well, I also love, uh, I like, I love the Grenache and Thralls. James Molesworth reviewed it from Wine Spectator. This wine is made by draining off the vat. I don't know what that means. <laughs> the color is obtained through a short maceration between four and 12 hours. Wow. Mm. Delicious. I want to go and actually like watch wine be made. Me too. These are our empties. These are products that we fully used up. Yes. Unless they're total garbage. Um, but even then we, we probably still use them before we try to give them away to someone. So we're going to tell you about, uh, we're essentially going to review the products that we've used. Absolutely. That's fruit and tootly. I don't even know. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay. As always, we haven't done this in a minute. Top, Top down. down. So we're just going to work our way probably for starting with like hair products. And then I think mine ends at my puss. <laughs> Good. Cause I got one for my puss too. <laughs> okay. 
You may have seen me talk about these in a recent favorites video. Caitlin just reminded me of that. And this is the Caviar Repair Instant Recovery Shampoo and Replenishing Moisture Conditioner. It's a shampoo and conditioner by Alterna. And this used to be my favorite, and it is my favorite again because I stopped buying it because it was so freaking expensive, but then I recently started seeing it popping up in TJ Maxx and Marshalls for $9.99. I think it's normally $20 a bottle, which is yuck out of my budget. It's insane. Uh, but I love these. My hair feels healthier than it has in a really long time. I've been dealing with some breakage. It feels moisturized. I can go longer in between washes for some reason with this shampoo, so I'm gonna keep using it. Mm -hmm. Love it so much. Good. Um, dry shampoos. I'm using them. Duh. But less now than ever. Before. Less now than ever. I definitely, I probably will wait until like day four to use dry shampoo. Mm. And then I probably exactly. only use it, like I probably could have used a little today. I didn't, but I don't know, whatever. I'm still really loving them. I still love dry shampoo. I think it's a great product. It doesn't work for everyone's hair, but I think the majority of people can benefit from it. I so I have a high end and a low end. And the first one is this Batiste dry shampoo, $5.99. This is in the clean and original, this is the original scent. It's not my favorite, but for $5.99 in a pinch, I'm happy to like throw this in my travel bag. It smells like pledge. It actually smells like pledge. Yeah. So, but once it's in there, it's not like my hair is yeah. going to smell like it. It goes away. But, I mean, I think Batiste is an amazing product for the price. You can get it for even cheaper than it's already cheap. Well, I don't want to say cheap, but low affordable. price. Affordable price at TJ Maxx and Marshall, so mm -hmm. always keep an eye out. I probably have three or four cans of this in my... Mm -hmm. my beauty pantry right now. Our favorite scent is the Wild and Sassy with the leopard, leopard. print. Absolutely. So I have good. two double cans of that. Yeah. Because I picked that. The other one I have is the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. And I love Dry Bar Dry Shampoo. But Funny. Me too. It's expensive. It is. It's I ration it. It's expensive. I do ration it. I use it for special occasions. I love the smell of it. I don't like the, I have the Lush scent. I don't like it as much. As I the have original. the original. I like the original. Me too. But I think it, again, it's a fantastic product. It doesn't leave a white cast. It has a good spritzer. Mm -hmm. um, but it's I have to. very powdery. Yeah. I do have to ration it, which I don't Same. like. So I actually sometimes will like mix and match and do a little Batiste, a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. Anyway, done. This is uh, paraben sulfate and phthalate free. I did not realize that. That's great. Look at us making good choices. I didn't know it. I successfully used up an entire five ounce face mask by Kiehl's. It's the Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. You probably heard me talk about it 1,700 times. Mm -hmm. I've written about it on the blog. It's my favorite face mask for treating. Yeah. Um, it's not hydrating, it's not moisturizing, but if you've got some shit going on, some texture, some under the surface zits or whatever, that time of the month. Literally this today. Um, this is your best friend. It is so much more affordable than the uh, Glam Glow masks that mm -hmm. everyone seems to love. There's, those are $69 and I think you get two or three ounces. This is under $40 and you get five ounces. This has lasted me for probably eight months. Mm -hmm. I use it regularly. I love it so much. I definitely will repurchase. Mm -hmm. The next thing I have, uh, Kristen S came out with a line at Target. Her packaging is stunning. So I got the purple shampoo and the rose gold temporary tint. If you watched our videos last summer, if you will look at our Instagram, you know that my hair was pink at one point. Mm -hmm. um, it was because of this. I will absolutely repurchase it. It is a super fun, uh, you know, temporary pink color that lasts How a temporary? Week, like a weekend. Okay. Um, and I will say it would last, I mean, I actually made it last longer than that because I don't wash my hair. And it did not alter the cut, like the blonde highlights in your hair. Correct. I will say it's a hot mess to do it. They want you to spray it while you're in the shower, which is hard because your hair's wet. So it's dark and you can't really tell where you've sprayed it, where you haven't, but it's still, it's, I mean, if you want a temporary pink color, I think that's a great way to go. And I'm going to do it this summer. And you don't have to order it online, which is nice. You can just go to Target and get it. Um, and then the other one is the purple shampoo. I will say of all the purple sh shampoos I've used, I don't necessarily see as much of a difference with this one okay. versus some of the other ones I've used. Um, we really love the Pravana one. I really love the Pravana one. I think that one is definitely the best mm -hmm. purple product I've used to keep the brassiness out of my hair. Um, Purple shampoo is just a hot mess. Mm -hmm. But 
That's one of the messiest ones I've ever seen, to be honest. Yeah, well, because it like gets caught in all these grooves. Yeah. I was gonna wash it before I showed it to you guys, and that just seems like a damn waste. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I hmm. I would not repurchase. Okay. I also thought that my hair felt really dry after using this. Uh, I think that's easy to do. Yeah. Yeah. I used up my favorite brow product. Yay! Yay. It's the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade 710 Soft Brown. I have said it once, I will say it forever, this is a dupe for Anast Anastasia Brow Wiz. That's $25, I think. This is like $7.99, and it's fantastic. The spoolie by the end of it gets real fucking grody, but... Yeah, that's normal, though. Yeah. And at least you throw it away. I'm like, throwing it away. That guarantees that you're using a new spoolie every month or so. Uh, this lasts forever for me. Really? Like, three, four months. I go through my brow... I know. So quickly. But I... Well, because I'm pretty much drawing my eyebrows on from scratch. I guess that's true. But even the next one, you've bought like three and I'm still using the same one. I have two. Yeah, I've bought four. I'm still using the same one. Oh, that's annoying. I know. So, um, I, maybe if you don't have as many brow hairs, you'll go through it quicker. But I think this is a really fantastic brow product. It's nice and firm. So I don't really like a super soft brow pencil because it just ends up all over my face like a clown. Mm -hmm. um, but I also don't want it to be too firm. It needs to be Goldilocks, like just right. Perfectly waxy and emollient at the same time. It's a favorite, I've already repurchased it. I'm wearing it in my eyebrows today. <laughs> okay, the next thing I have is the Basha Sake Hydrating and Brightening Serum. If you've watched her, get ready with me. Sake Mama! <laughs> <laughs> Not on the table, it's too wiggly. <laughs> and that really hurt. <laughs> What you get? <laughs> Big old idiot. Okay. Anyway, I'm Basha, socket hydrating and brightening serum. This was recommended to me by my friend. I, you know, if, there's not a lot of times where somebody's like, you need this, and I then just immediately go online and purchase it. But for some reason, this was one of those things. Oh. She's like, I think you're gonna love it, and I was like, bitch, I trust you. And you did love it. And I did, and I really liked it. I would put it on typically once a day, usually under my makeup. Um, it just absorbs so quickly, so it doesn't leave you feeling oily or greasy. Um, makeup goes on top of it as if you were just moisturized. I don't know. I really liked it. I would like to repurchase. Hmm. In theory, I might be getting it from with this for sale, but I also might just try a new serum. Texture of water or what? Um, I mean, it is. It's it's thin. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. And it's just like in. Gone. Gone. Right. Which leads me to believe, is it really doing anything? Well, so there's that. But I liked it. That's all that matters. Didn't break you out. That's always a good... It didn't break me out. That's what I, I look for. I really... It just... Good, good. Yep, next. I was worshipping at the House of Bare Minerals Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream for like three years. Yeah. And finally got Caitlin on board. And then I just kind of stopped using it because I found things that I liked better. I stopped using it. I think they're... I don't know if they changed the formula or something happened. Something happened and it didn't really like, it sat on top of my skin. It didn't work into my skin. I noticed What that. was happening? I don't know. So these are not completely empty, but I don't like the way that they perform. I don't think it's worth giving it to someone because there's so little left. Um, I don't know. I have four shades and I like never use them. Yeah. It's really upsetting. It is upsetting because they're like 30 bucks, but um, I loved them for so long and they were really working for me. And then something happened. I never loved them as much as you loved them. Yeah, which is a shame. Cause like when they were good, they were good. Good. So the next thing I have, which was a hand-me-down from Danielle is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Intensive Exfoliating Treatment, the Hollywood's Two Minute Facial. So, I mean, I wouldn't call it a facial. I don't know why they would say that. A facial has many steps. It's very relaxing and it's wonderful. This is yeah. a scrubby thing you put on your face. It's kind of like, um, they probably want to liken it to microdermabrasion. Yeah. Oh, it almost has, um, cinnamon. Cinnamon. There's cinnamon in yeah. there. So, yeah. I mean, the, oh, on the days where I felt like, because I no longer, I use very gentle cleansers, mm -hmm. so I'm not physically removing any layers of skin when I'm washing my face. Right. On the days where I felt like I needed to have a clean palette, mm -hmm. fresh, fresh layer of skin. <laughs> I would use this, and I typically use it in the shower, mm -hmm. um, and it's good. Yeah, it's would very, I, it's very pricey. Would I spend a lot of money on it? No. Am I gonna repurchase it? No. Do this I, baby bottle was twenty five dollars. Yeah, I don't That's need insane. I don't need all that. Um, but ha having it for free, sure, sure. It's my OG. That is exciting. Holy Grail. 
best moisturizer to ever grace my presence. I'm not gonna say the world because I haven't tried them all, but um, we're working on it. You know, if you want to send us your shit, we want to try it. We do. This is the Clinique Turnaround Overnight Revitalizing Moisturizer for dry to combination oily skin. Basically, it's for everybody. I always think that's funny when they just, it's everybody. Right. It's fragrance free, which, ha, ah, it's my favorite thing in the world. But why am I smelling it? It's fragrance free. Uh, this is just the best moisturizer. And it says turn around overnight. I'm turning around in the daytime, too. <laughs> Turn around in the morning. We're trying to turn afternoon. all around. I use it morning and night. I turn love around, it around, so turn, much. What is that? Turn around, turn around. Is that Gloria Stefan? Yeah. Turn up, turn up, turn up. Yeah. Turn, turn, turn the beat around. around. What? Shake the turn, table. Turn, turn. turn it upside down. <laughs> Got to feel the uh, feel. Get, the feel the rat tat tat tat. <laughs> That's the best part. It is the best part. Anyhow. Back to the wow content that we're supposed to be filming. Nope. I've recommended it to everyone. I have very mm -hmm. sensitive skin. Very sensitive skin. And it does not break me out. In fact, when I stray from it, my skin is like, bad baby, bad. Go back. No. No. You need that. Shishido White Lucent Anti-Dark Circles Eye Cream. Oh. I, I know. remember when you were like buying these left, right, center. I have gone through two of them. I like it, I would repurchase it. I get mine from TJ Maxx. I would not pay full price. <laughs> and I actually am currently without an eye cream. Still? Well, you're gonna have to buy so it. So I pulled out a little travel one that I have, not a travel one, like a sample one of, uh, I think it's a Kate Somerville retinol eye cream. I'm using that right wow. now until I find one. But that's gonna be for a Sephora sale purchase, which is gonna be our next video. So watch our next video. Watch our last video. Watch. <laughs> Oh, look at your head wiggle. It's like a turtle. <laughs> Speaking of turtles, do you know who Franklin was? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. Paul, Paul, Peter, Paul. What's his name? It's Patrick. Patrick. Anyhow, Patrick. Patrick from Schitt's Creek was, was baby Franklin. Franklin. I like it. I like the texture. I love the packaging. I would repurchase it. I would not pay full price. I would buy it at TJ Maxx or Marshall, so I found it. Um, Is it thick, thin? What's happening? It's, th it's thinnish. It's... I like I like the scent. Ooh, oh, but it's like kind of old lady, lady, but in a really sweet, tender way. Right, like a very soft skinned old lady. Like a rich old lady. Yes. And I'm trying to be a rich old lady. So Duh. you know, apply skincare for the job you want, not right. the job you have. <laughs> rich old lady. Yo. When you search eye creams on Sephora, this shows up in the top five. Wow, really? Yeah. Because I Googled eye creams on the way over here. <laughs> That's oh, why I know that. Anyway, so it's obviously people like it. Uh -huh. I've got a, a mascara primer. Uh -huh. But you've been using it. Oh my god, I love it. I bought a full size. Stop! <laughs> David! <laughs> Ew, David! Uh, listen, you guys, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer Base, and I used to use this in college. The camera overheated, but I was telling you about the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer Base. When I was in college. When I was in college, right. I liked it. And then I stopped using it and someone DM'd me and was like, oh, it was actually Lindy. She was like, I love the Urban Decay primer, hmm. lash primer. And I was like, girl, this one's like six dollars. Sex, sex dollars. Sex, do sex dollars. It's six dollars. Very exclusive. And it has made me like mascara that I did not like, mm. which that's why I'm using it because I bought that garbage It Cosmetics one. I hated it. And if I pair it with this underneath, I like it more. Really? Mm-hmm. I have um, been noticing you've been using the primer, but I was curious. So I I think it does something like almost conditioning for my lashes as well, and it makes everything a lot easier to take off. Uh, so that was a trial size. I have a full size upstairs. Then I used up the travel size of the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I know it's expensive, and I'm like a drugstore mascara queen. Um, but this is my favorite high-end mascara. I love it so much. It just does things for my lashes. I liked my Bobbi Brown. No, I, I didn't use it. the Smoky Eye. I used the other one, the gray one, the silver one. That is Smoky Eye. This is, is it? For some reason, when they put it in a travel, it's not gray. It's not silver. Because it's cheaper packaging. Oh, okay. Probably. Because um, that's metal. But it's, that's this, it's the same one. And I love I love this. If you want to spend a lot of money on a mascara, I think this is a great one. Right. That is in your budget. If you have a mascara budget, Bobby Brown. If you want to buy it from me, I love Bye -bye. it. Next thing I have, and this is my, like, I'm so proud. You did it. 
I did it, you guys. I used an entire lipstick. That, like, wow. I think I've only ever done it, like, maybe one other time in my life. Really? Yeah. Because we it was have like a so color pop. Yeah. And I'm not even kidding. You can tell, I mean, not only is it flat, it's like divot. concave. It's a divot. Concave? Concave? Convex. Cave. 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 Um, because I've actually sort of like, like stuck my lip into it mm -hmm. and used my finger to try and get more out of it. This is hella old. It's at minimum five years old. Um, so this is the Urban Decay. Oh, they just call it a lipstick in mm -hmm. the shade Rush. They have repackaged this lipstick. It doesn't look like this anymore. And they do, and they do have this shade. Mm -hmm. And I am going to buy it again because it is such a good like nudie pink. Mm -hmm. Their formula is super wearable. It's not, I oh, mean. yeah, it's really good. Like yeah. your lips, but better. Right, like it's just like a natural flush sort, sort of color that I've never, I love nudes, I wear them all the time, mm -hmm. but I've never been able to find one like this. I love that one. And I miss this old packaging. I cannot believe how good it looks for kicking. We're gonna have to wait a minute. For being five years old. This lipstick packaging, you would barely know. No, you wouldn't. That's the know. thing. I think it's so well made Beautiful. that you wouldn't be able it's to tell. It's like liquid metal. Yes. Anyway, yay me. You did it. Mm -hmm. Similarly, I used up a setting powder, oh. and I think that's also like da 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 da. Alert the presses. You guys know I love this. It's my favorite of all time. It's the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent. I use it to bake. I've also been using it just to set the rest of my face very, very lightly. Uh, I'm setting my face less than I ever have and I like my makeup a lot more and I think my skin is really reacting well to that. Uh, this is my favorite. I've repurchased it. I'm forever loving it. It's just real, real nice. It's talc free. You know, you ain't gonna get cancer. Not for Not that. For <laughs> Maybe for everything All else. All these other products we're using. So them. since this is just one area of my body and this is my whole body, do I do this and then these? No, that's okay. for the last. Yeah. Sure, we're gonna keep the best for last, so you, be you best keep watching. Um, the next two products I have are body products. So this is the Body Shop Thai Macrit Lime Firming Oil. I'm 100% positive that's how it's pronounced. We have not bought this from the Body Shop. We have bought this from uh, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and actually Ulta. Ulta. And I know that it is in my Easter basket that I haven't gotten yet Aww. because it was like buy three for no money and get a fourth one for free. I don't know. I literally sent the link to my mom and was like, the Easter Bunny wants me to have this. Yeah. And she bought it for me. Um, it smells so good. We've talked about it in tons of other videos. Rainforest it, Lumberjack. It is a, yeah, Rainforest Lumberjack. It is tropical, but woody. It's war It's a warm scent. It is a very warm scent. It's very sensual. Yes, it is sensual. I feel like a sex goddess when I put this on. Right, I definitely kind of feel, I'm trying to think, There's a, someone has a music video where they're like, where it's like steamy and their hair's with that like wet, wavy thing and they're like in the, the um, rainforest. I do, have, it's probably Shakira, Shakira. Shakira, Shakira! With. We don't know that it's firming necessarily. I don't think it's firming. Also, Daddy's making subs, but I will. <laughs> so but I, but I will say, just the 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 process of moisturizing. If you're adding moisture, your skin skin is gonna stay tighter mm -hmm. for the long haul. And it's an oil, but it's not greasy. Gre greasy. You say greasy? <laughs> no, I say greasy. I was gonna say what greasy. <laughs> it's not greasy. You said macrit. <laughs> Macro. No, more important than this. It's a Kim, what was the fucking Kim thing? thing? I don't know. It's an oil, but it's not greasy at all. Ooh. I don't think it. Like, um, I don't know. It's luxurious. I it feel it, it's a sexy moment for me to apply it all over my body, even when I'm alone. Especially after you've just shaved your legs. Oh, yeah. I will say that's like the pe I mean, I put it everywhere else, but it's meant for legs. Like, for me, it's just like legs and ass. Okay, I've got two more face products. I've talked about both of them a lot because I love them and I will forever repurchase until I find something better. This is the Origins Checks and Balances for the face wash. Used to use it in college, got away from it. I used to use a lot of stuff in college. I don't know where I got all this money. I was about to say, I was like, you were using- I was using my refund check to get this shit and not pay off my student loans. I was about to say, I never used fancy stuff in college. That's true. Oh no, I used, I used fancy Fine shampoo, wash. but that's because my mom bought it. This used to be like 18 bucks and it would last like four months, so I didn't think that was bougie. But um, the price has gone up, 
The quality's the same, love it forever. Gonna keep repurchasing it until I find something that I might like more. It's just really a lovely product if you want to uh, wash your face, which I recommend. And then, <laughs> I- That's gonna be our platform for 2020. If you wanna wash your face, use this. The last, did you just throw something at me? What are we, rabbits? Yes. Let us pray. This might be the weirdest <laughs> thing you've ever eaten in a video. I I'm gonna bite. It's like crunchy water. It's good. It is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's refreshing. I'm no longer thirsty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I use a lot of Aveda products at the spa that I go for my facials. And she uses this toner on me and I'm like, what is that? I need it. Mm -hmm. And so I bought it and it lasted surprisingly a long time, like six months, this bottle did. Mm. And I sprayed my face morning and night, and it's the Aveda Botanical Kinetics Skin Toning Agent. And- Every day, twice a day. Every day, twice a day. Seems like a lot. I just love the smell. It's it's Aveda. It's like herbally goodness. It's something else too. Eucalyptus. Mm. It's eucalyptus. That's not it, but okay. It is eucalyptus. No, but there's someone, there's another product that smells exactly like that. Give me another sniff. Okay, here. Like a measure. Something I just got all over my mouth and rose. Knows. It's definitely rose and herbal. Mm. Yeah, it, if you like the smell of the Veda products, they're kind of medicinal, herbal, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I really love this. I use it as an essence, which essences are normally over a hundred dollars, which is I absurd. Think it's, it's an it's, essence. It's hokey pokey bull crap. Literally, the, the essence means like just a, a hint of. It's a taste of it. Like I steeped this in green tea. That's an essence. It's giving me the in essence. So I, I absolutely love it. I've since repurchased it. It's like a fun, refreshing step. I even use it on days when I'm not wearing makeup just to kind of like rehydrate my skin. I feel like those are the best days. Feel. Sure. Want to use for your lettuce? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to let, Oh, I got it. <laughs> I don't want to bite Do that. It. It's too hard. Do it. It's too hard. Do it. It's too hard. It's too early for you guys to be acting like it's alright. I got all of it. <laughs> mm. We said we needed bloopers. We don't have a blooper reel. So I almost feel a little bit guilty showing you guys this product because it is a secret. It ain't gonna be a secret anymore. Sorry, Herb. We have a friend who every time I see him. He's the best smelling man I've ever smelled. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I finally hounded him so much that he told me what the secret was because- but it's not him that we should think, it's his mommy. It is his mom. It's not a cologne, you guys. And it is inexpensive and easily accessible. It is the Bath and Body Works Noir scent from the men's collection and it is a lotion. And it is an ultra shea body cream. It is a quick absorbing, non-greasy body cream. Oh, shea, aloe, and cocoa butter nourish and soothe. I will say it is very soft. I just put it on my hands. And, but I will say it's scented as fuck. It's very, very, very scented. So I will say it's a little overwhelming at first when you put it on, but as it wears like throughout the day, it softens. And I remember putting it on once and going downstairs and one of my roommates was like, what is that? Well, she said, she's like, I'm a little bit turned on right now. Mm -hmm. It's a great like, smell. Literally the scent just like triggers whatever that part of it in your lady brain. If you are familiar with the Bath and Body Works mahogany teakwood teak candles, this is better. Right, I was about to say, I, was like, I wish mahogany teakwood smelled like that. Exactly, everyone describes that as a man candle. This is a man candle <laughs> because yes. it's a body And yes, so normally, and I have like, the, and the next time I have an actual, like a long-term partner, mm -hmm. he's, he's gonna use it. He is getting this in every Easter basket. Easter basket, every birthday, I am bringing home the Noir. So next time Bath & Body Works has a sale going, I'm just gonna stock up and get a bunch. Mm -hmm. um, because until I got a man, I'm gonna smell like the, the good smell of man. She be your own man. I don't even fucking care, it smells so good. It I don't, does smell good. And I, I, you know what I really love is when I put it on after I shower and then I get in bed, and my sheets are perfumed it's like, like a you're sexy with a man. Past man. Yeah. It's like you're with a man, but you get to have the whole bed to yourself. Yes. Which is the best. It is the best. Caitlin and I have another favorite scent. Yes. And it is, it used to be found at Old Navy, but I have not seen it in quite a while. It's very disheartening. It's the Kindred Goods Sea Salt and Fig. Eau de Parfum.
There's a lot going on right now. We've gone through several of them each and I can no longer find it. It's very sad. Well, I think they bumped it up to $8 That's at some fine. point. I would take it. But I just, I will pay y'all. I will pay at least, I would pay up to $12 for this parfum. I would pay 15. Save! It's like, but like I want it to be eight. Okay. <laughs> no, I want it to be five. But you think it's eight? It definitely got bumped up to eight because I remember okay. last time we were there, we were shocked and appalled. It's probably definitely going to kill us. <laughs> it's like all alcohol and alcohol. methyl buffer. But well, we love alcohol. Yeah. But, 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 let's talk about the smell. Beachy but better. Beachy but not like, ooh, beachy. Beachy but not coconutty. Yeah. Be not sunscreeny. Correct. It's um It's fucking sea salt and fig, bitches. I don't know else but to like, say. Like, honestly, I don't get a lot of fig out of it. I don't get any fig. What does a fig smell like? I <laughs> don't know. Fig nuke smells like a cookie. I actually I and I feel like I'm I'm okay with my nose, but I could not here. I, I mean it's fucking sea salt. It's clean without being like, oh that's a clean scent. It's like clean and warm together. <laughs> oh I just hiccuped. Uh I'm really sad that it's over. Old Navy, thank you so much for this wonderful Yeah, but then you moment. discontinued it and I got nothing to do. I know, it's sad. Um, but it's, it's been really fun. It's definitely been my, my go-to summer scent. Throw it on. Now, if you have made it this far in the video, congratulations. And we are gonna reward you with some pussy products. <laughs> yep. With some pussy. With some pussy. So the first thing I have, which we've talked about in an, at least one other video, <sighs> and I've used a whole one, which seems, well, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, uh, it is sustained natural personal lubricant, unscented. But so, it is scented. It smells like vanilla cupcakes. Am I? <laughs> I didn't even know. Yeah. Oh yeah, it smells like icing. Smell that. That is sweet. Yeah, but I think it's just. I, I, I don't think I like. I it. don't think they're adding fragrance though. I don't know what it is, but I love it. It smells like the gel icing. I love it. Every time I, I oh every time I smell it I want to eat it. Well, it does say natural flavors. Did you like it? It's, it's meant. meant to it be totally eaten. is. But so it is a. It it's actually tastes like vanilla. Primarily a aloe. Did you eat it? And it's got agar, agar, agar. So it is a lube that was created with women's bodies in mind. So um, good. It is so good. It's my favorite lube. So it is not, it doesn't have silicone in it, which for me, like silicone is what gives lubes their slip. It was, it's the thing that lasts long, so you don't have to reapply. But I will say, and it's the reason that they're, they're better than water-based lubricants, but you can't really use silicone-based lubricants with a lot of sex toys. Yeah. Um, and they're not great for your body as a woman. But, and then the water-based ones, they tend to dry up really quickly. That and then all of really a sudden, uh, uh, stop. Wait, I need more. I told you it tastes good. Oh my god, I know I no longer feel bad because sometimes I put on lube and then somebody goes down on me and I'm like, oh sorry, I just put lube. No. Oh my god, that's like it's like a dessert. Flavor. It's like a flavor sensation. It's good. I would like you it. eat it on a flip flop? Yes, I would eat it on oh a flip flop. Oh my god, I'm gonna tell him he's not gonna go down to Flavor Town. It's out of bounds. <laughs> I forget that he says that. That's the one I just remember. Oh yeah, Mike okay. knows them all. He's the biggest fan, honestly. Anyway, oh, big so fan. Um, huge fan. Huge. I'm already on another bottle of it. I, I used it last night. It's great. You know, I did not. Round of applause for Sustain. I also purchased their condoms. I haven't gotten a chance to try them. Oh, yet. I haven't tried them either. Um, but I did also try another lube, which I'll report back on. Oh my god, gel mm -hmm. icing. And this doesn't stain. No. Which is a huge plus. Because, you know, sometimes you'll end up with like... If I put clean sheets on the bed and there's lube stain, I'm pissed. <gasps> yes, or if you stain something that is like you can't wash it. Like yeah. your couch, or my velvet pillow from West Elm. Or I'm not throwing dresses. that. Or your or dresses. Your, or, oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. this is great because it won't stain, it evaporates or whatever it does. I think we should get a man's opinion. Great. That's it? No, you have to elaborate. What do you like about it? It's not greasy. It's not greasy. 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 And I can just, if I have too much on my hand, I can wipe it on the bed. Yeah. I know. I do really like that because I did. Like, sometimes it just squirts out more than you want. You're like kind of rushing. And yeah. You just squirt and you're like, 
That's for me, much. I need lube to get me started and then I can be very well lubricated so I don't need a silicone based lubricant. Like no. I just need it to get going and then I can fill in. Well, but also I feel like I can use it at any point. I don't know. I'm just going to go. Do you use it with the Excalibur too? I have a couple times. I actually really like it. That's okay. not true. I've been using the new, my new lube with the Excalibur. Oh, yeah. I love where my charger is right now. I'm worried that I threw away the box. I almost brought mine over here to target while I was here. I'm going to have to. <laughs> I'm not buying a whole other one. Well, duh. I'm going to charge it Although, at your house. Highly recommend. I believe I found it at Target, but it's not at all Target's. Mm -hmm. You can easily get it online and they I got mine on Amazon. Oh, did you? Mm hmm And if you buy it from their website, I think it's like you have to spend like $30 and you get free shipping. So just get two bottles because mm -hmm. it's worth it. You'll like it, I swear. There it is. Last one. Okay. This was sent to us by the brand, which is the Honey Pot Company. And these were clean cotton unscented tampons with plastic applicators. <laughs> they were the super version because uh, I have a heavy flow and a wide set vagina. Their Ew. tagline is made by humans with vaginas for humans with vaginas. I love that. I really, truly loved these tampons. Clearly, I used them all up, and I would like to definitely repurchase them. They're kind of tricky to find. You can find them at Target. They're usually sold out. They've just started selling them in Walmart, which is my new favorite store, FYI. Also, we definitely zoomed way more. Did we? Sorry. Yeah, because remember we used to have like my hands were in it. Whatever, it's fine. I think it looks better this way. Doesn't matter. Uh, Wow, 12 grams of blood I could hold in this bad boy. I don't Ball know how much that is. Grams. 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 How many is that? I don't know. No chlorine, no pesticides, no fragrances. I hate a scented tampon. Why do they even exist? I don't hate them. Oh, I fought. I'm very, very passionate about that. I agree. I don't think you think sh I don't think we should be putting fragrances up our vaginas. I had BV about a month ago and a big reason that the woman who started this company started it was because she had raging BV for a while and she was like, you know what? I just decided I need to like heal myself. I can't stop. I can't keep using all of these really fragrance chemical filled products. And so hence the honey pot company. I agree with that. I do think that there, there are tons of things that I put in and around my vagina that I would never put in my mouth. Mm -hmm. And exactly. I think that's, Silly. Your vagina's your second mouth. Stop putting bad stuff in it. Uh, but I really like them. And I, I will say, when I was in Pittsburgh last week, I saw, I was, I'm getting my period, although I got it on the trip with you, I felt like I was getting it. And um, I ran into Walmart really quickly and they didn't have the honeypot company at that Walmart, but they did have organic cotton tampons by Tampax. Really? And Tampax Pearl are my favorite, so I bought them and I really liked them. Oh, I love I love Tampax Pearl. Me too. Uh, that good applicator. applicator. So that's everything. Oh my God, such a long video. So sorry, but not. We're not sorry. Um, normally we would limit ourselves in what we showed. Oh, I didn't even hit this one. Oh. That's fine. It'll go in the next one. Are you sure? What's on your lips? I saw you put that shit on. Yeah, so originally I had Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk on. It's so lame, but I love it so much that I'm wearing it every day. And then I did put a little bit of the rush over top, um, digging it out. Uh-huh. What do you got on your mouth? This is Marc Jacobs, Hey You, Enamored Lip Lacquer. High Shine Lip Lacquer. Lacquer. I love that word. Mm-hmm. I really love this gloss. You didn't get like all the way to the corners of your mouth, though. Uh -huh. Okay. It's fine. I'm, you know what, for the all intents and purposes. Sorry. Wait, I gotta sneeze. Okay. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, wow. That was a big one. I've had this for a few years and I really don't wear it all that often, but I do find myself gravitating toward like this watermelon shade as the weather warms up. Juicy. It's juicy. Wait, gotta go. That is it. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. It really helps us. It really, uh, it really genuinely does. It does. It helps other people find us and that's what we want because you know we're trying to make that money, honey. Right. YouTube has a very specific algorithm. We've been very lucky that I think we're sort of hitting it right now. Um, but you guys liking, commenting, mm -hmm. subscribing, sharing, sharing, it's, it's all helpful for us and it just makes it possible for us to make more videos. So we love you. Thank you so much. Let us know down below if you've used any of these products and you feel the same way, if you feel differently. Yeah, or if you're using something that we should try in place of any. Let us know what you're doing today. Like, honestly, just let us know. We let love us to know have, what you're having for dinner. We love having these little chats with you guys. Um, 
Make sure to ring the bell so that you get notified every time a new video posts. Yep. And as always, watch our last, last video. video. Watch, watch our next, next video. video. Watch all, all the, videos. the videos. And we'll see you in our next one. We will.